Welcome, everybody, to my niv -Mizza deck tech. For those of you who don't know, niv -Mizza is my favorite archetype of all time. I took it to GP Vegas, and I went 0-3 drop. It was wonderful. I went, I put against Burn, Burn, Burn. Oh, it's completely memorable. I said, you know what? I can beat any deck in this format, even Hogak, except Burn. And so what happened? I put against Burn three times. <laughs> I'll never forget it. This is probably why... I love this deck again. Omnath, Locust Creation. Everybody knows it. Landfall, first one, gain four life. Second one, add four mana to your mana pool. So you fetch, boom, and you get four mana. Third one usually only happens with Uro. You deal four to each Planeswalker and player that is not you. Let's talk about niv -Mizzet. What is it? Look at the top ten. Uh, for each color pair, choose one card among them and put it into your hand. So what happens? Top 10, you have a Brink to Light and a Uro, a Lightning Helix and a Ren and Six, and a bunch of lands in it. You get a pick between Uro and Brink to Light to go to your hand, and then the Lightning Helix and the Ren and Six will both go into your hand because they're all different color pairs. But if they have the same, you're picking which one to put into your hand. This does not work with four color spells. So this does not hit Omnath. It has to be exactly two colors. So keep that in mind. It has to be the guilds. It's very strong because you'll play it. Sometimes you'll hit two. Sometimes you hit four to six. It's a really strong six, six flyer for five mana. That can be a plus three, plus four. That just wins you the game on the spot, which can also hit your other bring the lights to give you another copy and then it. Or hit your Glittering Wish to be another copy of niv -Mizzet. This is a special deck because Glittering Wish comes with our sideboard. So you can have answers game one to problematic decks that you would not be able to beat generally. So say we're up against Mill. We cast Glittering Wish. That's what it does. You reveal a multicolored card from outside the game and put it in your hand. Outside the game means your sideboard. The ruling is it is from your sideboard and no longer... Exile. So if the card gets exiled, you cannot grab it from there. The ruling has to be the sideboard now. We go to our sideboard. It is skewed to have uh, to all be cards except Thoughtseize that you can grab off your Glittering Wish. This way you can find answers to miscellaneous situations. So if you go up against Milter uh, in game one, Cast your wish. Go get my will of sun and moon. If a card will be put in an enchanted player's graveyard from anywhere instead, that card is revealed and put on the bottom of that player's library. We take that, equip it to ourselves, or attach it, sorry, and then any card mailed over goes to the bottom of our library, or even cards that we cast. It's phenomenal. So that's why the power of Glittering Wish, to have your powerful uh, one of daggers that will just win you that game, is very strong and why I like this card. And it also is hit off of Niv Mizzet. Okay. Let's go to our one drops. Oh, sorry. Utopia Sprawl. It is a ramp that lets you accelerate, which you need to do because it's modern. The game's going to be over by turn three nowadays. You got to have a very strong turn two and a turn three to make sure you don't die. It lets you ramp into your Uro, which is very strong. It fixes your mana. The biggest thing is practicing and thinking about two turns ahead what your mana is going to look like. How are you going to fetch? It is more important than other decks to get this right because you have five colors. Generally, in this build, I've been skipping uh, getting black initially as a color because I'm just aiming to cast Omnath on turn three or turn four. So that way I can go Omnath. Then after I do that, play my fetch line, search up my black source, because he will only add four colors, excluding your black mana. So I search up my black source. I have all five colors, cast my Niv Mizzet, or cast my Bring to Light. And then the following turns after, I now have all mana sources because I was able to find the black source after I first focused on getting the four other colors so I could cast Omnath. This build really revolves around Omnath, by the way. That also is why we have all these helixes. But we'll get into now Ren and Six. 
the best card pretty much in Demizit. It lets you have perfect mana, and it'll win you games on its own. It is probably the best Planeswalker outside of Oko. I think it's probably the second best Planeswalker ever for its cost and what you get out of it is just insane in comparison to the others. But yeah, always play four if you can. That's the first piece of advice. I don't know why people play two or three. The reason why, you know, you don't hear about those people because they ain't winning. You, know? <laughs> you gotta play four. You gotta play one of the most broken cards ever, right? You know? <laughs> uh, Assassin Trophy. Your catch-all. Kill anything you need to answer. Give them a land. You don't want to play more than one because if they get ahead... It really, it's a big cost to give them a land. Let's go with that. Lenny Helix is deal three, gain three, very strong, lets you get through the early game. There's a lot of prowess going around, a lot of small creatures, uh, very efficient, and you can hit off of Niv Mizzet. These are your flex spots. If you wanted this to be an abrupt decay, you can, I think you could fit about two, probably two less Helixes if you wanted to do Is It Charm. Is It Charm's not that great. Glittering Wish, we talked about that from the sideboard. Teferi, one of the other most broken cards of all time. Your His ability to, one, cast Bring Lights at instant speed, and two, bounce anything. Very, very strong answer for you. Unmored Ego, allow you to hit uh, your silver bullets, or sorry, their silver bullets, such as Field of the Dead, Tron Lands, Ad Nauseum, different combo pieces, you can move to the side, have it main. Niv Mizzet's versatile like that. If you like it, don't like it. That's the beautiful thing about this deck is there's so many flex spots you can really tune it to how you like to play Magic. Deafening Clarion, it allows you to have your board wipe. As you notice, we don't have Supreme Verdict. The reason why is because we have Gigantha in our sideboard. So you can't have matching color symbols in your main deck. However, you can have it in your sideboard that you can tutor with your Glittering Wish because it only cares about your main deck. There's some times where I will bring the Supreme Verdict in the main, but that is only when it's like, I have to go very fast. I don't have time to take a turn off to play my Glittering Wish to go grab it. So against Boggles, I generally bring it in because the Gigantha don't do much. I'm going to be losing anyways. <laughs> um, next up, we have Earl, one of the most broken magic cards as well. Yeah, okay, well I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> We just play Oko, but you know, <laughs> that card's gone too. Kaya's Guile, a very strong, versatile card that lets you kill a creature, hit your opponent's graveyard, gain life, have a blocker. There's not many matchups where this card is dead. It's very good against all these combo graveyard decks. The one I think of right now is Ad Nauseam. That's like one of the few decks... That <laughs> this card is dead verse. And you can entwine it. So it lets you choose all four modes. Very, very good card. Very versatile. And it gets hit off Niv Mizzet. Omnath. Does everything you want in this deck? It ramps you, pseudo ramps you into your Niv Mizzet. There's been times where I bring to light four Omnath. So I can cast all my spells easier. I can get more mana. I'm a very big fan of this card. I've been loving Omnath in Niv Mizzet. It's made it feel much stronger than it was before. It's just a strong two for one. It does everything you want. It gets you life, gets your ability cast Niv Miz after playing it to drop 10 power on turn four. Really good card. Bring to light. Converge, which is whatever mana spent cast into it uh, matters. So if you have all five different colors, you can tutor up a spell with CMC equal number of colors put into it or less. So if I put all five of the colors in, I can tutor up a five CMC instant creature or sorcery. Note that this does not hit enchantments or planeswalkers. So you can't hit your uh, wheel and sun off of it or your Teferi off of it. And it casts it. Also, this gets around Graph Digger's Cage for those who don't know because it exiles it and then casts it. Also, it gets hit off Mizzet. Niv Mizzet. Very strong. Okay. Sideboard. Thought Seize. This is what allows you to not die versus combo decks. 
on turn two, three, four, it buys you those additional turns so you can be able to get to your silver bullets such as Animor Ego or have your veto. This lets you not die to combo. That's what you got to think of this. This You don't try to play a fair game with Jun by bringing these in. These are for your combo matchup. Dovin's Veto, very strong negate that you can hit off your Glittering Wish. Teferi, another copy so you can hit it off your Glittering Wish. Supreme Verdict, Board Wipe. Ashiok, very good against Amulet Titan, very good against the Dredge decks. Unward Ego, a copy you can hit off your Glittering Wish. I think you should just have one side and not one main. Assassin Trophy, very versatile card that, again, because of Glittering Wish sideboard, we have it there. Fire Spout, it allows you to hit it off of niv Mizzet, but also to have a Anger of the Gods type effect in your main board, or that you can sideboard in. So you have Clarion and it. Wheel of Sun, very strong against Mill, and the Dredge, Mill my deck over meta. Gigantha is your companion, your free card, pseudo-free. The one cost is you don't get to play Supreme Verdict. That is the big difference of what normal Niv has versus Gigantha Niv. You don't get to main deck this verdict. Which I think it's it's worth it. I think it's worth it to have Gigantha, honestly. And then a copy of Nivisit in your sideboard that you can Glittering Wish for. And then last thing before we end the deck tech. When you're fetching, if you have good mana already and you have all your colors, don't fetch up the Triomes. Leave them in your deck. That's one thing I've been learning is that You'll draw them off the top, and you'll cycle them, which seems redundant. But the number of times where I've had five lands out, and I have a fetch land, and I'm like, what is it going to be my six? Oh, I'll go get a Trium, because I'll have per- even better mana. Which is just being lazy. Because you can literally draw this Trium and cycle it away. And then you have Renin Sixes to continuously cycle. I think the power of these cards is that you have turn one, it helps fix your mana to be wonderful and be perfect. And to go late game where you just don't fetch it up and you draw off the top and you're able to cycle through your deck with this and Renin Six. I think that's one thing that people do because we're lazy. I'll admit it. I've, I've been doing this because I'm lazy. I'll fetch up Triumphs because why not? But the number of times I see now because I've, I've consciously thought about not doing that and drawing my Triumphs and cycling into different cards has made such a huge difference and give me even a smaller edge with the deck. And one more thing that we'll finish on, these pillars, they only add mana to cast multicolored spells. This does not pay into your Gigantha. So if you're playing it like turn one, turn two, keep in mind, turn three, you won't be able to put this into your hand using Pillar of the Perunes. It can cast it, but you can't use it to pay for your companion cost. That is my niv Mizzet deck tech i hope you guys enjoy the deck i really love this league amazing run i hope it's very entertaining and if you're not please subscribe i would absolutely love if you subscribe on youtube it helps i read all your comments and if you guys want to help support uh there's a twitch link down below that you can subscribe on my twitch as well or follow and see when we go live hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you next time Snap keep, he says. Uh, I don't want Assassin's Trophy. I don't want to ramp them. Fudge, I want Assassin's Trophy. I don't mind if I kill land. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Is this the gold frame deck? Yeah. No. At least they're Etron, but still. Do I need red more or green more? Green more.
I also should have got rid of Guile because I I can't cast it anyways if I would have thought about it more. And gone like Triome into Swamp into Green Source, maybe? From like the initial hand? Let's go get So this can get the Absent Triome, so we want to get a blue source here. Blue red no. How's it go? We go blue green. We have red source. This gets up bad zen. This can get a white or a black source in the end. Okay. Need gold frame, misty rainforest. Yeah. Uh, I just want to think of what my fifth land drop is going to be. And, like, I'm also thinking about being able to flashback Uro later. And, like, just how I want my mana to be going forward. Say by Pillars? Now we're fine. Because I, I get the Bad Zen Triome, and then I would just go get a White Source, I think. It depends if... Oh, no, I don't, I'm not playing Verdict, so yeah. Coalition victory. Yeah, that's what my mind's on right now. Is coalition victory. I also for, forgot we're playing Gigantha. Not that it would change anything, but I got to keep that in mind. Omnath off the top would have been insane. Oh my goodness. Six, seven, eight. Isn't it better to wait for Niv if you have to discard so much? I discarded lands. What? That's a good problem to have. If I have five cards in hand and I'm debating not to cast Niv because of it, like it's it's not better for me to just go like helix. That was like the only play I had. Versus Niv. Helix edict. I didn't have uh I didn't have double what. I have double white. Mike Jones. Let's 
You want to see something dirty? Oh, math. I should have a, yeah, I have a black source. Wrath them. No, they just need all his dust and they're fine. I should have looked at my sideboard way out of here. If I can destroy a land and ego. We should be in a good spot. They pretty much have to minus here. Omnath sweeps their board. Oh, jeez. Best part is Uro's going to kill the Ugin. Oh, I love, I love Nev Mezet. Sure. Sure, I don't care. I don't care about, this is just going to keep my health so, health. it's going to keep my life total so high. I just have to figure out how I'm going to tap everything. Ballista? Please be Ballista. Was that Chalice on two? Chalice on three? It's fine. Oh, it counters Uro, that's why. Oh, wait, at the top. I wonder if it's better to use Glitting Wish here. Wish, wish for trophy, trophy there, cast arrow. I get to keep this in hand. I like keeping this in hand. I also forget we have Gigantha as well. Wait, Omnath doesn't wipe their board? 
correct. Uh, go here. Cast Earl, then we can cast... I don't think I'm playing K command. Let me look real quick. No K command, so I don't have to worry about this Niv Mizzet in my. Bang, bang, boogie. I think we uptick here. I have so many decisions to make, and I have to make them quick so I don't get behind on time. I need to cut them off their mana, because I need to worry about an All's Dust. Or I could just Glittering Wish to get rid of their All's Dust, which is, which is pretty good, actually. That's like the one card I'm worried about is all's dust. Coward. Coward. Block, block, eight. <clears throat> Another reshaper, sure. Okay, I have a mountain for that one to go get. What do you got for me? Power plant, sure. to three. Um, I think we swing here. Put this in. I had lethal. No, I had lethal and I missed it.
If I would have gone... Oh, wait. Do I have... How many Helix do I have in my deck? Maybe I didn't. I only have... Oh, I did have Lethal. Okay. How? If I would have used Teferi, Bounce, Matter, Shaper, and then uh, use... Like, use the Helix on them, and then search for a Helix, kill them. It's different because I have to, like, calculate... Uh... <laughs> I have to calculate so much stupid stuff. With the mana and everything. Jeez. Oh, I did have an ego main? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, wheel just because of mill being good right now. It's also good against dredge as well. It's, like, good against other graveyard decks. So it's not only good against mill. It's good against, like, dredge and oops all spells. Why do you keep ego? Uh, I think it's fine to keep, honestly. I think it's okay to play with. Oh, uh, I should trim on helix, though. Found it. Uh... It was like really banking on me hitting a land. And of course I didn't. Caster or Tav. Please. Okay, we lose. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go game three. 26 land, 60 cards, two draws, 60%. Um, play this out, name blue. Or I can name black. No, nah, blue's fine, because we need double blue later for a row anyways. What's up, Mackenzie? How you doing, bud? I 
I am so tempted to kill this. Blue, green, red, white. Yeah, let's let's kill it. How's your guys' day coming? <sighs> this guy's bantering with me. Draw step? Um, I mean, like, okay, yeah. Ooh. White, blue, green, red. I feel like I had a reason to do it upkeep. Oh, no, I should have just done it on draw step for the waste. It actually matters a lot. Like, it matters the most against them than anyone else. What was I worried about them hitting? Nothing really. So yeah, I should have done a draw step. Oh, that's okay, Draft. Usually I'm on that, but I can't remember like why I I usually do a draw step in my head I was like, yeah, upkeep, but They play probably three ways. I think they've gone up now with all the things. Once you miss it, there's no point snarking at all. Yeah. We're good. Then you let me know. Honestly, in my head, I honestly believed that I was supposed to do it then, and I don't have a good reason as to why. I need black. Look at this. This is gross. The game has ended! <laughs> uh. That was a fast game. Game one took forever. Game two. Sure. No downside like red upkeep. I know. I felt like I thought of like some minute downside. But there there wasn't. There's no reason not to do a draw step there. That's a manga scoop, they're just dead. They just lose. I told you all nothing and it feels right. It did feel good. I literally destroyed their land so I could like you are not taking my Omnath I'm going all in on this thing and I'll trade it with a uh, dismember wow F me okay much better much better dun, dun, dun. red green no they'll go here okay That's so hard. Yeah, you're not gonna. Yeah, I get. You're not like Phil is gonna run you over. Oh, the triple street wraith turn. Shadow. Hopefully you can dodge it. Moody man. Like, how can you not go turn one shadow, you know? 
It's just a given. I get punished by the fourth street wraith, which the odds of that are so low. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> that would have that would have put me on one. I would have been so tilted. Oh, you know, triple bobble, quad street raid, the norm. I thought you were just calling Drake Moody Man. Uh, what is good? Paul should hit lands. Why? Oh, Omnath. Destroy target land and all other lands with the same name. They're so crazy. Okay, let's see how lucky I can get if I can hit land or not. I mean, kind of. You have the pulse of the format. Oh, that's so unlucky. No, you do. Oh, you come to me to get the to get it. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's rough there to take that, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I actually should have left up a green source and not the pillar, because the only thing I can draw that I can cast would be Utopia Sprawl. It's not about the confluence, it's about just having fetches, like high fetch density is big. Lost in love you.
Oh, I guess. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Double stub after that. That's insane, man. We're both at one. I can't fetch. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a game. Oh, my goodness. Jeepers, mister. Whew. What do I want? I want this in. I want, I guess, a verdict. F. Giganta. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Um, keep, keep and hope. Combo. This game comes down to top decking, so you don't want Thoughtseize. You want it against, like, Adnaz. You want it up against, like, Nia Brand. Defy out. Uh... Please, Johnny, make it go away. I'm committed, not addicted, but it keep controlling me.
Do you have it? Oh, they did not have it. Green, no, it can't be black. It has to be white, and then we name blue. That's insane. Our our random six killed, all because they probably have a stub. Leaves plays from opponent. I mean, like, with what their hand was, I would also play as a 1 1. I don't think we can lose if I can just like verdict them honestly. The Goyf will grow once this resolves, so it'll be a four or five. If you verdict, oh, I guess that makes sense. That is true. There's no point playing the Omnath there. I'm just going to Verdict. Yeah, you, yeah, you. I have all my manas. Should have got a... No, I have blue. We're good. We're good. Can you kill my Goyfi poo? Oh my gosh. Stop! <laughs> Uh. Walk it like a taco. Green. I think they gave up. Mm. 
Dude, on math feels like the way. Whoa. Whoa. I have no idea. I, I maybe read. Make it look like I'm something I'm not. Deckless exclamation mark deck. I think I updated it. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Bob. <laughs> Um, this is interesting. Part of me wants to play this. I don't want to play the trial because I actually, I think I want to cycle it. Deck list, the deck list. Thank you, Ventus, for helping him. Walk it, like it, talk it. Walk it, like it, talk it. No, my Ren and Ticks. Guess is the problem with playing that one out. I can get Giganta, that's funny. Or Kai's got no, no, no. The two is enough. What the heck did they... Oh. 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 Stop. Stop. Black. Kind of bell. Good luck! <laughs> uh, what do I need here? I'm like short on white sources. Let's go white then. I will gain four!
I'm gonna go get Omnath here, as crazy as that is. Okay, go to you. <laughs> okay, go to you. They weren't, they didn't reveal theirs, right? Like, they just. Yeah, this is Moto. What can I get? I can get... Blue, blue, green, green. No! Okay. They have to beat some arrows. Pretty good for us. Why, yes, I would like to go get something. Um... Let's go, Vito. I still have Gigantha to use with my free mana. But I've literally just been able to utilize my mana each turn.
Uh, do this before I... Oh my gosh. Um... I can't hold up the counter as well. Oh, but I can just use Helix or this. <laughs> There's so many options. I have to like, okay, uh, uh, <laughs> I just know I'm very far ahead. I mean, they can't. It's just very hard for them to beat us. I'm down. Just I'm down to just run it back. Yeah, uh, mm, mm, mm. Sure. I don't want to play Pillar because I want a Gigantha turn three, most likely. Like, put it in my hand. Sure. Let's go get green red. Do I have a stomach gun or no? No stomach ground. Oh, that's actually good. That's a tough choice. I think it's better because the Goyf can run away the game if they go Bloodbright Elf here. Um, I think that's better than playing out the Uro to Niv next turn because I had to play more of a catch-up game. Bano MD, welcome to the Big Deck Club. Thanks so much for that Tier 1, buddy. Thank goodness we didn't go that route.
I have to be weary of getting blue sources against them. I don't want to get choked or, or boiled. Sure. Three, three, then four. Oh boy, I might have to deal with the Ren and No, I can just like down tick on them. Maybe. Sure. They didn't fetch? They didn't want to get something back? Okay, then. Interesting. I can cast Uro and Teferi. Available on Mikko? I believe so. They have to be. Yes, yes they will, because all the other ones are. You know what's nuts? If I draw an Omnath, I think I just win on the spot here. Like, Omnath actually would be better than to draw Niv here, which is insane. See you, Simpson. Oh. Sure, I'm happy with them taking whatever from my hand.
Jeez. They're really trying to hit my mana. <laughs> Even though now I get arrow, right? One, two, three, four, five. What's the song I will survive? I should have more lands. I should check. I'm like pretty sure I do, but this is like. Not the greatest, so I don't have a land. Evade? No. You asked! Oh, thank goodness. Tell me about it. True, true. Uh... Please. <laughs> you do it, heroin. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing missing is left, right? Yep. Correct. Missing out. Oh, jeez. Any place is better. If I kill this, I'm gonna discard this seed to have this as a fetch later. I'm saving this so I can fetch it. I can't target my own stuff, so I can't cast it right here. what I did pog <sighs> we were driving Driving in your car, speed so fast, felt like I was drunk. Fast car. Niv, de la is it. Pog. Pog. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! 
I thought I'd take out the glittering wishes. Meep meep. They were so far ahead, but then... Five mana, draw six! Ugh. Look at all my lands. Omnath also is dumb. Omnath has been great, can I just say? Why, what are you going to do with it, Sharon? You can't even go play Magic. Can you imagine full roster of 10 Titans like Uro? Oh my gosh. Croak's and Uro far enough. Good enough for me to have to deal with. Why can't you play Magic? I don't know. You just can't. Five color Uranium without Astrolabe? Oh, I miss Uranium. Huge Uranium fan. Do you think this deck functions with Uranium instead of Giganta? Yeah. I think losing Astrolabe was a big hit for Uranium. It used to be like draw three. I think Omnath is very strong. I think having 60 to increase the density of drawing your Omnath is very strong. Um, sure, I'm on the play... What the... Um, do I have white? I don't have white. So I will go... This name white. Play this second. Play this third. Boogles? Ugh. Uh oh. A fat should be the nuts. What the heck is that? Oh. Come on! <laughs> no. 
No effing way. Fetch, please. K no way. Uh huh. How many cows got out? Enough. There should be one main! Uh, it doesn't exile the things because it kills them first, so it wouldn't exile all the enchantments, which sucks, but... But it does exile it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh! Okay, they're at 96. I'll just kill the Luris in response. I think. Okay, pass it back to them. I think I'm gonna have to probably Ashok mill them out. Green, red, this goes and get a white source. I have red, red, so I can bolt, bolt. Okay, go to you. <laughs> I have to kill them from ninety. Alright, so that's that's fine.
Hey, y'all, uh, prepare yourself from the... What do I have? Um, uh, Bring to Light Omnath. I think I already played my land, yeah. The last Omnath. Oh, that's how it triggers. I didn't know that. I have no idea. Green or something? Keep this one. Up. So you had to trigger it to count them. I didn't know that. Hey, we won. You tried with the spells deck last night? It's a very good deck, yeah. I think intervention pack is probably not too needed. You can just go a different route, but yeah. Uh, Verdict just ruins my Gigantha. I'd rather have the option of Gigantha than the Verdict main. Um, no ramp. Okay, Pog. Um,
I like Yorion. Yorion just fell out of favor with no astrolabes. You're on better versus Mill. So dumb. So dumb. You should play a bun and grill. Yeah. It's flying. Please give me a land or a die. That's a good one. Again, did I play Rasputin today? Do 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 wake up. And I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. Again, again, again. I would walk. 500 miles This for that my rent's the only way to recur it. I'm going to be the man who comes along with you. Be the one who's coming on to you. Because I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. Easy!
No attack? I was too excited. Did they just cast both those? What did I just miss? When I entwine, I want to get bring back Omnath. <laughs> I want to do more things than entwine. I mean, I want to bring back Uro is what I meant. Oh my goodness. Jeez, I was like, I clicked it. Does this work? Go red. Play this out. Tap for green. Use the green. Kiss from a rose. I'm pretty sure it works. Uh oh. I've been kissed by a rose. <laughs> sure. They didn't even take it. Please don't be on math. Shouldn't it be on black? No. They didn't take the one of the yard because the one in the yard doesn't matter. No, they hit my arm, Nath.
Oh, I need my wishes. Give me a wish! They mailed both wishes? Nope. So you're telling me there's a chance. Ugh. So good. Did it hit my arrow yet or no? I should just play Gigantha first. Keep this one. I have three Omnas, and of course, they're the ones that aren't milled. Or, sorry, I have, I have three arrows. There's an arrow. There goes an arrow. It's going to be close. Oh, boy. Wait, they didn't take my arrow. If I have a land in my deck, I believe I have lethal. Uh, now I have to look to see if I have a land I can fetch with this. No, he's just not taking him. Surgical's not bug. Green white's gone. Double triumph. Did they hit the second triumph? One trium. I'll fetch it on the stack. I want to make sure they don't have... I don't want to cast a second one. I don't want to get mill 13 and die. Woo! <sighs> they should take an arrow. They should take an arrow.
No, the thing was, I didn't want to draw my triumph. That was the thing. I didn't want to draw my triumph. What do I not want? Clarion's okay, but then, like, don't just fight all these helixes. I want the wheelless on the side so I can go get it. Probably gonna search go my arrows, trim one. Uh, I don't know. I should have a veto instead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Five color nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, no, you can never take Omnath. You can never take Omnath off Niv. It only checks for color pairs. Okay, they didn't have the mill, 13. So right now we're in a good spot. I need a temple garden, question mark? Favorite ice cream? Cookie dough. Are you allowed to have that or not? Not really. I also just don't like the taste of coffee. Please don't have a Thoughtseize. That's that's a okay. Yeah. 
Is this the chief? Yeah, I'm about to 5 0 as long as I beat this. No, no cause like, but I have Willow Sun and Moon. As long as I beat what? Okay. Oh, and the pulse gets shuffled back in. Wait, okay, that's really good then. I don't have white mana. I played I played Wilson forever ago. Time to get a white or black. Yeah, white source all day. Oh yeah, no, they have ways to kill it. They have bounce spells and such. <laughs> Is that when it starts? It's 40 minutes? The U.S. debate. Oh, 
Oh man, they don't know. <laughs> Why do we care? <laughs> oh sweet summer children. GG's five zero five zero. We could have that too. <laughs> <laughs> 